Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Woman Seven Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Enemy raid on coastal facilities. It's a large, but they don't have a lot in the area. I think this might be doable. Okay, so it's an enemy raid on... I take it that is the bombardment target they are going after. So one thought is, we sit our ships right here and just wait. That being said, France is probably going to try to come up this straight. Actually, what British ships do we... What British ships did we get? So we have uh, our Habsburg classes. Or, no, a Habsburg and a Ween. Uh, that's a destroyer clipped into it. So two battleships, and then leading them are some... Or they're leading some cruisers. So ZL Jupiter, that's one of ours. Those are ours. Britain did give some ships to this. Oh, great! You're independent! Uh, I'm up on Habsburg, then, as a core group. Oh, you're also independent. Uh, good job, game! You form up on Erzik Carl as a core group. Where's Red Carl? Whatever. I am not pronouncing that right, and I am fully aware that I'm not. So you guys form up on uh, the British battleship as a core group. Alright, so we will... Uh, just on the off chance we missed them. We'll sail kind of in this course here. And kind of almost form a line across the... Uh, likely French route to uh, Catero, since I do believe this is a coastal bombardment mission. Just as long as our ships don't enter port. Alright, so they are about to cross our destroyer line, so what I want to do is fold the line in this way. Come on. No torpedo hit, unfortunately. Alright, so we shot them. They fired a few rounds at us. Okay, so they are... We're turning them around with torpedoes, it looks like. Any hits? No hits. Alright, so we're gonna move our... We're gonna start moving up this way. And then we're going to do a second turn this way. And the good part about this is if we get badly damaged, we can retreat. And we can potentially screen our retreat as well. Which is what I want to do. Unfortunately, our battleships are now starting to have to uh, clean great. So I'm going to reduce them to 16 knots. Because they're not moving quite as quickly. Come on. We have to find where their fleet went. I mean, they've encountered our light forces a couple times now. Okay, form another uh, path across. Go to faster for the moment. Go to 14 knots. I think that's a little better of a cruise speed right now. Cross there. Oh my god. All of our ships are losing contact now. Because it's night time and our signaling is not very good. Okay, turn. We are defending our port here. 
So my hope is that most of the French fleet's gonna have to stay along their north coast to defend against Britain, and that Britain will be able to blockade them. Um, now the French cruisers are scary, but, you know, we have a couple scary cruisers on our side too, fortunately. Okay, come on. Come on, let's find something here. Okay, now it is, uh... Where the hell did they go? France, where are you? Fine. You all wanted to go back to port, we're going back to port. I don't think France is coming back. I think we chased him off. How your tactical development will look like in the 20s. That's going to be interesting. I think the 20s are going to be very interesting here. And we're going to get to that point eventually. Yeah, opposing forces are far apart. Yes, let's end the scenario. So France just ran. They thought, oh, we're going to attack them. And then realized that we had activated our entire navy. And they are just like, nope. Uh, so we did minor damage to uh, this thing, which doesn't belong in 1907. But, you know, at least the Europeans now know that aircraft work. Make your destroyers super destroyers. You can't really do that in the early game. I want to convince you to produce the European Kitakami with 40 torpedo tubes. Well, I mean, I did, uh... 1914 was the first seaplane carry. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, it would be good. Uh, I mean, I did build a cruiser with uh, 42 torpedo tubes for t Tortuga's contest, so... That was pretty fun. People only told me I could do... Uh, people told me I could only do like 32 on a cruiser, and then I proceeded to do 42. That was fantastic. Alright, France is set to increase naval budget. We are still allies with Britain. Yeah, I... Uh, this is gonna... This is gonna hurt them badly. So we're still a bit out from our dreadnought, and the French dreadnought is probably better than our dreadnought. I, I would take uh, an 8, 11 inch broadside over a 6, 12 inch broadside, I'm going to be honest. Invade Corsica. Can we do that? Yeah, we can, because we've got, uh, there. What is the force disposition? France has to have a lot of ships here. Um, Britain? Britain, activate your navy, please. France's navy is activated. Britain's navy does not appear to be. I want to invade Corsica. Uh, that was a glitch a little bit. The other thought is, what do I want for Tunisia? Oh, well, Corsica's probably better. There's Algeria and Morocco as well. Well, we'd have to, for these guys, we'd have to go along them one by one. But I do... I'm going to wait till France is blockaded. That's my thought. Well... Eh... Our Navy's active. Our Navy would have just gotten some training. I kind of want to build more dock size, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ASW patrol. Um, not ASW anymore, but... All of these guys should probably be on uh, trade protection. 27 out of 16, ASW 53 out of 0. Wait, what? France has submarines, right? Yes, they do. They have more submarines than we do. Which is something we have to change. Alright. Okay, so everything we want on trade protection is on trade protection. Uh, I'm gonna move four of these guys into the active fleet, so we actually have, like, 12 destroyers to do stuff with, rather than just all that. Yeah, 23 out of 16. I can, I can get another four. 19 out of 16 will be good for now, and then we do have an extra group of destroyers under construction, and I think it's smart to build another another group of them. Well, that being said, I am going to want that. When that's done, I am going to want to build it, and that's going to be expensive. 
Okay, so. Cause if we invade there. But the French. France still has a lot of ports, though. Yeah, the thought is to just kind of go along this line here. That might be a little easier than trying to get into Corsica, but. Target Corsica. Yes. In the meantime, uh, we're going to have to halt something before that. So they sank a merchant with their submarines. Cruiser battle down here. France doesn't have battle cruisers. I don't think. So unfortunately, we got three cruisers rather than the two I was hoping for, because now this guy is slowing us down. Not letting uh, Schwarzenberg and Minerva do what they do best. On the other hand, oh, we have Battle Division 2. Um, opens fire at. Oh, yeah, we can't do stuff yet, apparently. Uh, we cannot move our ships physically, but. So we know that there is a... One of our destroyers is being shot at. Somewhere. There you go. Unknown ship sighted. Squad Max. If things start going really bad, then what we'll do is we'll just leave our... Uh, we'll leave Adria behind and then use uh, Minerva and Schwarzenberg to absolutely slaughter what is present here. So what do we see? We see CL. We see a uh, armored cruiser, a 21 knotter, a tiny, and then two smaller armored cruisers. Oh, okay. Uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Eight 10 inch broadside. Two on two ships. Hey guys, we have de facto battle cruisers. You're gonna die. Okay, look at this. We're just gonna ditch Adria here. And. Haha. -ha. We can go faster than you. So now it is a bit of a stern chase, unfortunately. So you're targeting. Yeah, you are targeting the CAs. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, Adria's getting left behind a bit. Yeah, do a broadside motion now. Actually, our battle division's up there. If we can push these guys into our battle division... Oh, thank you, Doomsday, for following. Thank you so much. Welcome to the, uh, I guess, nameless follower group. I don't know. I'm not good at names. We scored a hit on uh, the Forbin class. Yeah, they are still running. Uh, weather has worsened, unfortunately. Is our top speed limited? It is not limited. Keep going. Keep going. Full speed. Hunt them down. All right. Do kind of a turn at about this angle. We've scored a hit on the Forbin class. Oh, hey, look. They think they're going to go broadside to us. Actually, wait. Hold the range. Okay. Minerva took a deck hit and a fire was started. On the other hand, we, are, we have scored a hit on that Forbin. How fast is it? 24 knots. Actually, I'm a little scared of torpedoes the ranger at. We have hit that heavy cruiser more. Minerva, fire extinguished. Awesome. So that's one of their smaller CAs. Minerva, hell hit, belt extended. Didn't even penetrate. And thank you, Hello Dab, for following as well. Welcome to the uh, follow group. Follower group. Okay, Minerva, near miss. Uh... So that one is moderately damaged, on fire, one turret's destroyed. 
and it is still getting hit more. I would not be surprised if that ship sinks pretty soon. On the other hand, look what we have to chase down still. So that one's behind, so if we wind up not being able to catch the rest of these guys, um, we can just go back and sink it. So that's my thought there, is we go back and sink this one if it doesn't sink already, but it's on fire pretty badly. And right now we continue to hunt these guys. We sight an unknown ship, uh, which... something down there. It's, uh, identified as a CA, that's one of their cruisers. Okay, so go slight... Adria cannot keep up and has been detached. You will be AI controlled for the moment. Sighted another unknown ship. So that's their uh, light cruisers trying to group up. Yeah, they are not... They have scored a couple hits against us, but they are not doing damage. Oh, that might have... That might have done damage. That did damage. But, you know, if we can put a couple French cruisers down here, this is exactly what these ships are designed to do. Yeah, if we can put, like, two or even all three of their armored cruisers down... Yeah, look at that. That armored cruiser is slowing. Unfortunately... It's getting to night time. Um, which is gonna massively limit what we can do. So that ship is now on fire. Uh, Schwarzenberg took a nasty hit there, apparently, though. What we don't want to be is torpedoed. So that, that cruiser is going to escape. Okay, so squad max is now 21 knots. Yep. Uh, for you, now, uh, order, order a hold fire. We want to try to find the uh, enemy cruiser. That ship is sinking. Beside an unknown ship. Where? There. Oh, okay. That's fine. So there is somewhere over here another. That's it. That's our cruiser. You guys, no longer hold fire. Oh, that was Admiral Spawn. So how fast can Minerva go? We can only go 21 knots at the moment. It's So, I would say we have put down one armored cruiser right now and are about to put down a second. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty important battle. So, we've sighted a another ship over there. That's probably a uh, cruiser which is running away. Come on. Sh Identify that enemy ship, please. Change our course slightly. Cross behind it. Like so. Change our course again and again. Okay, you guys have crap spotters. Uh, let's just launch a flotilla attack. Settle in behind the enemy here. There we go. Now we're scoring hits. And she is dead in the water. Put a few more hits into her. Cancel the flotilla attack order. Yep. She has stopped, and I would bet she is sinking. Let's go down to cruise speed and uh, back to port. 
We're back to uh, Austria-Hungary. There we go. Yep. So that is two French cruisers sunk. I just need to double check on the state of my ships. Uh, Schwarzenberg has some minor damage. Uh, so does Minerva. I don't think Adria took any hits. Uh, fouled greats. Not bad. Um... I just hope our fleet rejoins with us here shortly. Yeah. There we go, it sank. Yeah. We're not going to be able to rescue those survivors, unfortunately. So there were reports of ships over here, apparently. That might have been where the battle started, and then it kind of continued down here, and now they're all dead. Well, some of our ships have to clean grates, because they're not catching up with us and going a little too quickly, I think. Ah, uh, well. Yep. So there we go. Two ar We sank two French armored cruisers and lightly damaged one. Of course, we get a major victory out of this. Um, yep, ship score, major in our favor. Uh, yeah. And ship details. So we sank uh, the armored cruiser foe. So what got you? So you were sinking upon all the 10-inch hits, and then the torpedo from Admiral Spawn was later, and then you... Oh god, we just wrecked this ship. That was the fires which got this one. We just kept shooting it, and, uh... It kept being on fire. And that took it out. Watch them rebuild a BC to hunt you down the Fosh, you two. Yeah, fair... They might be building battle cruisers. Yep. That is a good battle. I probably should have, uh... uh no, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna take the stats of that battle. That wasn't, like, the super great battle you tell everyone about. That's the... Okay, that went pretty good. Um, and plus, I had that on stream, so... That's good. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.